And in this video, I'm just going to show you how I would set up a print to print some of these healers. So in this case, I'm using the Sprint Ray Pro 95. Um, I'm going to be using the Nextent MFH resin, which is a crown abrasion material. You could also potentially use the denture base material if you wanted to have them be pink to kind of blend in a little better. Um, I'm just used to be using a white, um, you know, almost tooth colored material. So, you know, to each their own. I would recommend, or I'm going to be printing at 100 microns. 50 microns will be perfectly understandable, um, but it doesn't, shouldn't really matter because we're gonna end up polishing these afterwards. We want as smooth as possible for that soft tissue healing. Okay, I'm gonna click apply. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and select some healers. I'm not gonna bring them all in. I'm just gonna bring in a few just to um, kind of show you the workflow. Um, realize these are fairly large files. I mean, for what they are, you know, there's, there's a bunch of them. So take your computer a little while to work with them. If you get these little warnings here, don't worry about it. It depends on what software you're using. Um, these will be printable. Just sort of ignore the warnings. Um, and I'm going to click on this. Now, I do recommend printing them upside down. So I'm going to click on the base here, here, and here. So now they're all ready to, um, I, I don't want to print them flush to the print bed. You could, but the problem with that is then you're going to be running the risk and it's gonna be hard to get them off the print bed. Uh, plus it's a little bit harder to wash them that way if you do print while still on the print bed, which is like, which is the way I like to do it if you've seen my other videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on them. I'm gonna click generate supports. Generate supports generate supports. Now, if you know that you want a few of these, you could always hit copy to make a couple of them and however many duplicates of the others you want. And at this point, they're all ready to print. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple to add them. Go ahead and turn them upside down and get going on printing. The total print time for this should be about 19 minutes. And as you, as, if you're familiar with the way um, these printers work, you could add as many as you want and it still should be about the exact same time. Okay, hope that helps.